Right, hopefully you can hear me. I've got my microphone on. So first I've taken the van out properly for quite some time. And as we had the work done on the uh, protection bar at the front, which meant having to undo the wishbones, I've decided to take advantage of the fact that I'm taking my daughter to her friends to give it a quick run out. So we'll see how we go. I'll put it into drive, not leave it in neutral. Take my glasses off so I can't see properly. nice junction and we can't see anything coming from the right yeah. so the right here is priority adwat so that car just leapt out and we have to keep an eye out to the right to see if uh, anything's coming So I've got to pull into this road on the right here. And I'm going to park up on this corner. I'm going to get round. That. And I hit the curb. Oh. Let's pull up that. I'll let you out here then Emma, okay? Yeah. See you later. Bye. So that I can see some if anything's coming. Nothing behind me is there. No. Alright, reverse a little bit. I'll do see if someone come in, no, nothing. I'll do a quick tour around the village. I like to at a later date uh, sort of show you the landmarks of the village. It's not going to take very long because it's not a very big village. So here we come up to a stop, which used to be a priority adwat. I'm glad it's a stop now because you can't see anything coming. So you can see there's open countryside up there. And that's how it is to the next village. So that's to the south of our village. And to the north, uh, another priority I do add, so I've got to keep an eye here as a car coming. So to the north of the village, it's mostly built up. We've got a park between us and the next town. So there you've got to stop on the right. Well, priority I'd watch on the right, I meant. Be careful coming around this corner because you can't see things coming. So they go past the local church. Just taking it easy because I don't want to bounce around too much because of the. Um, if I've been messing about with the suspension a little bit to fit the protection bar. So another stop. And I'm going to the left. To the right, you've got the local school, the village hall, which you can't see because of the camera angle. So I'm going to go down this little road here. It takes us on the back of the village. It's very strange, so I haven't been out since probably February in the van. 
So even though that's relatively a short time, like I said in one of the other videos, I'm still getting used to the, the bite on the accelerator. So it's quite sensitive. It's only a very small pedal. Uh, dial coming. I slow down because I don't know what they're going to do. Normally I go up on the road, to, road on the right there. I'm going to carry on. Again, you can't see it from the camera angle, but we've got the... Whoops, a bit too heavy on the on the road home. On the left, you've got the chateau, the local chateau. Um, uh, my village is called Fontenay le Vicomte. Vicomte is Viscount in English. And up until the 1950s, there was a Viscount living here, just off to the left here. And then the family sort of died out, basically. And since then, the chateau has had a number of sort of private owners, and then latterly, an air conditioning company. And now it's in private hands again, I think. Oh. So I'm going to go onto the main road into the, into the village, which is off to the right. Off to the left, you've got some new housing that was built two or three years ago, which changed the village quite a lot has given us a nice new little so I'm gonna nothing come in so I'm nearly home of this mini roundabout and the Virgin Mary To our street. So you can see the village isn't that big. But I like to actually go out with two cameras and start right from the limits of the next town and give you a tour of the village at some point. But uh, I can't do it at the minute. Turn down here. There we are. So back home. And that's the end of the video. So hopefully this has worked and the microphones worked and you can you couldn't you can uh, hear me and have heard what I've said. Otherwise it's going to be completely pointless. But uh, yeah, everything seems to be fine. We've, we've taken the wishbones off, we've fitted the protection, or rather Patrick fitted the protection bar. And nothing's fallen off, nothing untoward. Uh, quite a few road humps. And so I think that's, uh, that's a success. I'm quite happy with that. So yeah, that's the end of the video. Uh, take care of yourselves. And uh, see you in another video. Take care, bye.